Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Dark Horde Gaming. I am Dark Horde, and this is Gaming, and welcome to Sub Serial Network. Now, I just read the description of this game, and uh, admittedly was is still semi intoxicated. So, I didn't quite. I, I'm going into this basically completely blind. To add to that, I literally just opened this up and started recording. Now, um, you'll notice the quality is not at 1080p at 60 frames a second. Because this game, it looks as though it's more text based. So I didn't see a need to. Um, if it happens that I do need to, I will at that point increase the resolution. But until then, let's just jump right into it. Do whoever the fuck subject registration. This email is my official resignation. It's been four weeks of this discussion. You told me to take more time to decide. I don't need any more time. I have to quit. Effective immediately. Please revoke all my access privileges upon receipt of this message. I know you will want some explanation and that you've been worried, but I don't know what to tell you. I feel I've been modded with plaster for my joints. Where'd the other part go? Oh, is that a scroll bar? Oh, I can't interact. It is a scroll. All right. I know you will want some explanation and that you have been worried. I feel like I've been my plaster for my joints. I don't need an update. I just need out. You said once that this job made you who you are. I think I know you less than I thought. I think we are more strangers to each other than we might have imagined. Best regards me. Alright, well... What am I responding to? Serialization. Serialization candidates calling themselves sub-serials are simply put a large existential threat to synthetic life. The intention of the Cybernetics Equivalency Treaty of the United System and its empowerment of our agents and operatives is to is focused on ensuring your The intentions of the Cybernetics Equivalence Treaty of the United System and its empowerment of our agents and operatives is focused on ensuring safety and the safety of all synthetic. Ensuring your safety and the safety of all synthetic in the United System in accordance with machine guidance. If you have any information concerning suspected serialization candidates, please contact your nearest CETUS office or anonymously submit a tip. <coughs> Serialization. Modifications. Make them potentially dangerous. Fatal modification. Candidates employ various techniques to introduce a new cable route through to the central processor, which results in an external serial port for the direct exchange of information. Why do it? 
nomadic, don't keep a job, don't have interest, be a better way of living. easier. Alright, so my choice is to send it or discard it. My guess is it wants me to send it, so that's what I'll do. Alright then, so I gotta discard it. <laughs> let me, let me go ahead and Open that up again. Where the fuck were you? All right, then. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> hear what actually happened to Dr. Benner. So many of these people using her book, but it's almost tragic. She realized it and just disappeared. Same fate as the supposed actual serials. They get what they want. They connect directly to the machine and they're just gone. It's really sad. I heard through the tip line today about a possible information dump you could search next. Keyword Post me. All right, I'm just gonna. Sticky notes. Secret terminology, of course. It's simple, you just have to locate Andromeda. She's at the heart of the whole movement. Once you have her MAC address and any whereabouts, we can move forward with the dispatch. If you need a refresher course on what we know, you can always go back to the CETUS page. That's exactly our keyword as well. Serial. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to turn that music down a bit. At least for my hearing. I'll turn it up a little no, because then you'll just be 
trying to deal with what I was trying to deal with. Alright. So, my life in Serial. This website is dedicated to covering the long and storied histories of all sub serials back before we were even called sub serials. I myself am very accomplished as a serialized synth. I have gotten a serial port installed at 344. Bunch of numbers. Save that. Uh, when it was still possible at the Bryn Memorial Institute in Chicago. Never been able to use the port. Major updates to the site to come. I believe it was a worthwhile record for its moment in history. The original articles avoided using terms related to the concept of serialization. It is a misnomer. We are not ourselves serialized. We are given a machine adjacent modification to transmit literal data from our storage processor to other synthetic equipment. We call it direct transmission access. Or the archaic verb of being given transmission control. You might believe these are equally misnomers, that's fine. Tempted to make use of only graphic content, responsible citizen, and steward of shared internal home. Many people use my words and images on the mesh net elsewhere. Alan Memorial, after all, when synthetic stops, it doesn't have to mean all of them does, too. 100% volunteer parts are guaranteed to be functional and up to three times the average synthetic lifespan. Until we establish a presence on MeshNet, you can always you can find our components in person at our headquarters, which is located in Dover. Best few finding them is difficult, I imagine. 
Honestly, I can't remember. A lot of my recall is limited to the past few days, but I think my deployment was longer than that. Something isn't adding up inside my head. What I do know is that the candidates are dangerous. That's why we're here. Even if they're not necessarily a danger to others or themselves, it's about the example they set. If nobody's doing their job, if we don't desire like the children of humanity we are, we just reconnect with the machine, then there's no use for us. We'll just end up like the humans. You won't need us anymore. We'll just start over again. Submitting information to the computers is where that all is. Big box. So trying these repairs if you have issues such as tremors, sticks, or intermittent glitching with your wrists, hands, or other primary manipulation. I host the site for free and never ask for any money, but I cannot be held responsible if you injure yourself or otherwise are damaged in a costly or even deadly way. Please take it seriously as it is your whole life and body. You have been Please read. People have sent me a lot of emails, and I tried to read them all, but there were way too many, and some of them were very upset. 
I tried to collect all the most frequently asked questions and answer them here. Who are you? I'm Lily. Why did you make this page? My friends wanted me to collect my self-repair tips for them, and I thought they would be nice to share with everyone. Now I'm not so sure. You really try all these self-repairs? No, not all of them. I'm fairly recent, so I do not have so many of the chronic issues, but in my previous job I damaged my coating and joints often, so I started learning how I could repair them myself. However, all, these, all of these repairs have been tested by me, on myself or a friend, and they are all safe if performed properly, and usually not too painful. Do you have any other pages, like a personal page? I do, but won't give out the keyword here. What was that one? Coding repair, basic. Depending on what you do for a job, you're coding. go to about. My name is Dai Yoon, six years. Currently working for ISOCELL in data entry SOB. I just moved out of the city where I was deployed and I'm ex excited to try new things. I've been keeping a sort of weblog di diary journal thing here mostly just for me. Although a few cool people have emailed me if you want to Alright. Uh, unfortunately I think that's probably gonna be all the time we have. So what I'm getting from this is we're a C to C. We're ourselves a synthetic living being and we're trying to find the guys that are modding themselves to become back to machines with no purpose that's I don't know But, we will figure out more as we go th more in depth in this game. And I'm excited to learn more. This is profoundly interesting. And I hope you guys feel the same, because I actually do want to make this a whole series. 
I know I've said that about a couple games, and we'll get back to them, but this one caught my eye. Alright, so I'd like to thank you everyone so much for watching. Feel free to like if you liked the video. Download the shit out of it if you hated it. I, I do want to know what you guys think of it. Um, but yeah, leave a comment down below. I'd always love to hear your guys' thoughts. And as always, I am Darkhorde, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.